Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy AB and today we're going to be reacting and reviewing to some new Toy Story toys I got in the mail. And yes, these are some custom replicas as you guys have saw my teaser on my community page. And I got my sisters with me. Uh, my twin sisters are reacting to these toys with me so I can get like a opinion from a kid on this products here. So say hi, Lucy and Nola. Hi! All right, so uh, the box here says fragile. Ah, uh, no, there's styrofoam. Yeah, well, that's a first for you, I guess. I guess everything meant nothing till you saw some styrofoam for the first time. Well, they're fragile, of course there has to be. All right, he comes in a little baggie. There's, there's the other one. Okay, that is, yeah, that is it. So I would assume that those are the Troikas. And this right here is the Rolly Poly Clown itself. Hold on. There you go, there's a better view on that those are the bags that came in nicely packaged and it's from the seller Batchford and I think he's like the original creator of this because I saw his YouTube channel that I tagged in my community post he's made like two videos talking about each of the products he's made and from what I saw they're really good and I got it from the guy directly on eBay so if you guys uh, want to go get some Troikas or the Roly Poly Clown or both uh, I will put the link to uh, the eBay shop in the description below so let's get to opening these bags all right so what do you girls think of the uh, Troikas right here Yeah, you remember these from the movie though, right? Yeah, but I didn't know the other three. Can I put them in all together? So we got the bulldog right here. As I think that's a bulldog. Yeah, that's a bulldog. We got the cat right here. The duck, a goldfish, uh, almost dropped that. And the one little piece that doesn't open, which is the tiny little uh, ladybug here. It doesn't even look like a ladybug. It does. it does though i mean it's just shaped like an egg because these are what they're called nesting eggs i mean mom had like nesting eggs like these before i believe they were invented in russia i'm not sure that's why i've heard in art class a while back and i think it's pretty cool that i got custom made ones right here uh bashford you did an amazing job on all the painting and uh handcraft work here oh yeah it does say made in russia it this does say made in russia this is cool I'm gonna try to open it and show you guys how it works. You just gotta squeeze it off or twist it off. I feel like the duck is the easiest one to open. Yeah, I think the smallest ones are the hardest. Cat actually opened pretty easy. I think they'll get easier to open as like time goes on. But I'm gonna take really good care of these guys because uh, I'm a little mind blown that this is now in my collection. No, they're wood. See, I believe he got like the shell itself here. Uh, can we see the clown guy? All right, we'll get to the clown next. All right, here we go. The roly poly clown, I believe. That's also made of wood. He's got a little jingle right there. Uh, he he weebles a little bit, which I think is pretty cool here. I feel like he's got really nice attention to detail right here. Like both these toys, really well made. I uh, love the little hair details right here. And fun fact, the, uh, the teardrops on his eyes are actually sticker decals. The rest of this, I believe, is hand painted and it is made amazingly. This was also made in Russia. Whoa, it's got the Russia sticker. Holy crap, that is very interesting. I didn't know that uh, he was made in Russia. Love the jangle. But I gotta be really careful with this guy because obviously there was bubble wrap on him on top of his head for a reason. Guess how much I paid for him? That one was like $3,300. No, the clown was $600. The other one was $300. Well, no, believe it or not, I got a little story for you. One time, way before I even got any of these guys, I saw some people trying to sell this guy for a thousand. And uh, the Troikas right here, they were uh, being sold for 350. Okay, I was close. Yeah, yeah, you're close for like uh, the Troikas, I believe. Th this is the actual guy that's selling the stuff. He makes his stuff. I bought it straight from the seller and uh, he sells the clown at like 210 bucks. Uh, and uh, the Troika is for 165 plus shipping and tax for both of these guys. And he also has a bundle, which is like 350 with shipping and tax. So I realized if I just bought from the seller, I wouldn't be getting scammed. And I realized that the other sellers that were trying to rank up the prices right there uh, were scamming people. So I feel bad for people that bought um, him for a thousand and, and these guys for 350. I will say that they were worth getting. They're worth purchasing. I figured why not since I have a movie accurate Woody doll replica right here. Why not add a couple new Toy Story custom replica toys right here? Because these were never made in stores for Toy Story or nothing. These are just custom made. 
and I actually really like these guys. I feel like they make my collection really pop out right here, but the next thing I gotta worry about is getting better storage spaces for all these toys to make it look much better together. Now, cause I already got this dresser, and I got that dresser for the main cast, and I consider Bo Peep a part of the main cast now, kinda. But I got all these characters over here, including the Troikas and the Roly Poly Clown. And yeah, I really love the Pamela Anderson poster that stands right next to this display, but we're just gonna ignore that for a minute. So if you guys enjoyed the video, please leave a like, comment down below, and please subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss a single video. This has been your boy, AB. Out. Peace out, Rainbow Trout.